Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is September 22nd. The title of today's devotional is The Missionary's Master and Teacher. You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, John 13, verses 13 and 16. It seems pure craftsmanship, the phrases all Swell Chamber uses as reasons for our considering God as our master. He says to have a master and teacher is not the same thing as being mastered and taught. Having a master means that there is someone who knows me better than I know myself, who is closer than a friend and who understands the remotest depths of my heart and is able to satisfy them fully. It means having someone who has made me secure in the knowledge that he has met and solved all, my, all the doubts, uncertainties, and problems in my mind. To have a master and teacher is this and nothing less. Do you identify with Chambers' words? Which of these phrases stand out most to you? It's hard to say, but that of God knowing me better than I know myself, which is inspired by Psalm 139, verse 3, Thou art intimately acquainted with all my ways. This description of Christ, our Master, stood out to me. Chambers closes a paragraph with a quote from a time when Jesus was denouncing the Pharisees, saying that the Jews were not to honor them, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all brothers, is how the verse concludes. There is only one whom we are to honor as Master, and it is for good reason that we do, as O.C. has here described. The master that forces his will is pharisaical type of fellow, uh, one who is resented and resisted. It is a dictatorship that forces the servant into enslavement. Chambers emphasizes that having a master and being master are not the same, for our Lord never takes measure to make me do what he wants. This is such a profound consideration that even though he is God, yet there is not an enforcement upon us of his authority. Dr. C. reflects a, a sense of brotherliness with us when he says that sometimes I wish God would master and control me to make me do what he wants, but he will not. And at other times I wish he would leave me alone and he does not. Do we not all agree there are times we wish God would pull us back and say, no, you can't do or have that, yet other times that he would stop pestering us about some matter that we do or don't want to do? Dr. Chambers brings up a profound question. You call me teacher and Lord, but is he? A question that digs so deep. We say and sing that Jesus is Lord of our life, but is he? The word Lord easily translated as boss. Jesus is boss of our life. He is the authority. O.C. State, teacher, master, and Lord have little place in our vocabulary. We prefer to use words such as Savior, Sanctifier, Healer. Those type words are safer in that they emphasize what He has done for us, but carry no sense of our having responsibility to Him. Dr. C. now shares the crux of today's lesson. The only word that truly describes the experience of being mastered is love. And we know little about love as God reveals it in his word. The only true way to grasp God's definition of being mastered is by experiencing his love. Again, the only genuine way of knowing God is to know the love that he has for you, a love that surpasses knowledge. Chambers says, if we are consciously aware that we are being mastered, that idea itself is proof that we have no master, meaning the glorious type master O.C. in today's devotional in describing. A conscious awareness of which O.C. speaks means that we are constantly labored in having to serve God. It is toilsome to us. Having God as your master should, master should be of no burden to us. The Apostle John says in his first letter, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. 
Should we find it burdensome to have Jesus as Lord, Chamber says, we are far away from having the relationship he wants with us. He wants us in a relationship where he is so easily our master and teacher that we have no conscious awareness of it. A relationship where all we know is that we are his to obey. Thanks for being here today. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.